Hello you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So the setting of today's video is a little bit different. We're not in Disney this time. Um, I actually might be at Disney by the time you're watching this. I have a trip to Disneyland coming up, but I just wanted to film some content so I can post while I'm there. Today's video is gonna be an updated Sony Clover slash small shop collection video. So in the last like year or two maybe, I've started to collect a lot of items from Sony Clover and um, different small shops. Uh, and now I have <laughs> a really large collection. So we're gonna go right into it. I'm gonna show you guys first all of the patches that I have. This is the pouch that I'm keeping my patches in right now. This one is from Sprinkles Bag Company. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I do have a code with them. My code is Lexi10. I'm not sure how long the code is gonna be valid for, so if you guys are seeing this in like a year, it might not be the same code, um, but yeah. So this patch is from Sprinkles Bags, and I keep all of my patches in here. I have some from Sprinkles Bags and some from Stone Clover and some from another shop, but I'll mention those. So the first one I have is this M. This one is from Sprinkles. I'll just show you the ones from her shop first. This patch is from Enchanted Patches over on Instagram and Etsy. This one is from Stony Clover. It's from their Star Wars collection. This one is also from Stony Clover. This is from their Frozen collection. And this one is also from the Frozen collection. To attach my patches to my pouches, bags, fanny packs, literally anything, I use E6000 glue. Is it the wrong way? It's the wrong way. Um, so I think you want to use this in like a well ventilated area. I can't say that I do every time, which is not good. Don't do that. But I apply this like in the middle and then on the border of all of my patches and I put something heavy on it so that it can like weigh it down and it sticks really good. Never really had a problem with this. Sometimes I do have to touch up the corners of my patches, especially when they have like a lot of like really small details. Um, but yeah, I use this. I don't iron them. I don't sew them. I just use E6000 glue. You can find it like on Amazon or at Target, whatever. Now we're gonna get into some of my pouches. So the first one I wanna show you guys is my favorite one. This is the Sleeping Beauty pouch. I just have like my camera equipment in here right now. Just like extra batteries and SD card and stuff. Um, but what I love about this Sony Clover pouch is like how structured it is. Like there's really not much in here and it's just holding its own shape. Love that. And then this one is the same size as that one, but it's not as structured. This is from the Stony Clover Star Wars collection. I got this for Christmas. Oh, and I do want to mention, I know Stony Clover is expensive. I get a lot of my stuff on sale. Um, so during like the, like during Black Friday-ish, like around that time of the year, they do a 30% off sale, I want to say. You can also find their stuff on like Bloomingdale's. And um, I don't know, they also just recently had like another sale, uh, not a part of like their Black Friday sale. I talked about it in another one of my videos and that's where I got the Aurora pouch. I did not pay full price for that. Um, some of their like more basic stuff um, you can find on Amazon. Um, always for discounted prices. I think they had a fanny pack recently that I saw for $69. Expensive for a fanny pack, I know, but a lot cheaper than you would pay on their actual website and the quality is just there. Um, like the quality with all of their stuff, like the zippers, amazing. Um, this is another fanny pack that I got for Christmas. It's like a velvety green, love it. My best friend Haley got this for me. I actually have two large pouches, but I can only find one right now. I'm sure the other one is like in one of my suitcases. I used it very recently. So this is my large Stony Clover pouch. I have it in lilac and I have it in this pink 
flamingo. I know the tag is still on it, I just haven't taken it off, but I do use it right now. I just have bikinis in here for my last trip. It's great um, for compressing clothes and stuff when you're packing. I am an overpacker, like through and through. I will pack far more clothes than I need for any and every trip. Um, and this just helps me fit it all. You can like fold it, hold on. <laughs> you can like fold it up, roll it. It fits a lot of clothes. It fits a lot of pairs of Disney ears in here. I think I fit like nine or 10 pairs of Disney ears in this pouch. Um, I also have this one. This is from Sprinkles Bags. This was from her Christmas collection last year. It just has two of her patches on it. And right now, what do I have in here? I have like all of my toiletries. These bags are great also because you can like wash them. They're not so to put them in the washing machine but I put them on like gentle and I put them inside out and everything and it's fun we're gonna talk about my mini backpacks next so stony clover did a sample sale with 260 sample sale or sample sale 260 I always forget um, but they sold a bunch of their samples and stuff and I bought the bubblegum pink backpack these are a bunch of my other Stony Clover patches. This is like my frozen backpack. So I have Elsa, Kristoff, Anna, Olaf, and then this patch is from Sprinkles. Stony Clover sent out an email that they accidentally sent everybody who ordered this color, this color. So to make it right, they sent everybody who ordered the pink a black one and a black one a pink one. So now I have both and I only paid $45 for two mini Stony Clover backpacks. They're exactly the same. My favorite part about this backpack compared to the like full-sized adult backpack is that there's a water bottle holder. Um, so if you didn't know, the mini backpacks are like children's backpacks. So the arm straps don't extend a ton like when you wear it they'll sit like higher on your back which I personally don't mind um, and I just think they're like super freaking cute it keeps me from overpacking too much to go to the park you know we just talked about that I do it at the parks also um, but it keeps me <laughs> from doing that too much during the sample sale I also got this fanny pack this is my first stony clover jumbo fanny pack i wore this a lot when i was in disneyland and i was able to fit my camera my wallet um all of my accessories my fuel rods literally everything i think i even kept like an extra pair of shorts in here and there was so much space it is significantly bigger than the regular fanny pack so if you're like a more petite girly like i'm only 5'2 um it might look large on you but i still think it's really cute I forgot to show this pouch off, so I have this white Sony Clover mini fanny pack in here right now. I just have some Polaroids and hand sanitizer. The Polaroids in here are from my Disneyland trip in March. Super cute. Meg and I used like two full things of Polaroid film on this trip. I'll just show you guys a couple more. That's me and Melissa. She's another Disney influencer. I love her so much. And we met her on Princess Night, actually, at Disneyland. And then as far as fanny packs go, I have a lot. <laughs> so I think the first one I ever bought was this Stony Clover Disney Princess Collection Cinderella fanny pack. I love it. I do have to say, though, the strap gets a little bit dirty. I need to wash this one. I love it. I want to put a patch on here, but I'm not sure which one I would do. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. That's the first one I have. And then I have some from other places. So I got this one from my friend Meg and I. I just made it for the two of us. Super cute. It's not like a brand name or anything. It's just a basic little fanny pack. And then I have this pink one i got this one on amazon when they were having a sale and it has this charm from bubble bar i love bubble bar so much they actually sent me this charm it's from their new like summer collection of bag charms and then i didn't actually get my hands on the like actual version of this fanny pack so i just made it myself i bought this patch from stony clover and then this is just the lilac fanny from stony 
and I attached it myself with some E6000 glue. Super cute. I think this is my most worn one. I have this white one. This one is the dirtiest of all of mine. It's white. I'm sorry. It has a little on patch. And yeah. This next one I've never used. I'm trying to be a hot pink girly. It's never really been my color, but I'm trying. I'm trying. You guys saw the backpack. Um, I got this one from Bloomingdale's. I found a gift card. So... I had to buy some stony. I wish you guys could see like the actual color. There you go. It's like very, very hot pink. And then I just have this fanny pack. I don't know what shop it's from. I got this actually as a gift um, for like a little gift exchange we did last October. I'm excited to wear this again though. I love Pumpkin Mickey and Pumpkin Minnie. And I just keep all of my fanny packs stored away in here. They're starting not to fit, so maybe I should stop buying them. Probably won't, but I keep them in like one of these shelves. So yeah, I'm gonna go put them back. And now moving on to my full-size backpacks. So I have three full-size Stony Clover backpacks. I have this one. It's Baby Yoda. I got this one off Poshmark for like 50% off. These patches are all from Sprinkles Bags, and this patch is from the Star Wars Stony Clover collection. And then, where is he? Okay. And then I just have this little Baby Yoda bag charm from Shop Disney. Super cute. I love this backpack. I used it every single day on my last Disney trip. So, two of my backpacks are Star Wars. I don't know. I love Star Wars. Um, this one just has a bunch of Stony Clover X Star Wars patches on here. I love this backpack so, so much. The thing with Stony Clover backpacks is though, like the full size ones don't have a little water bottle holder. That's the only thing I would really change about this backpack. I think it's perfect. It fits so much. I use these to travel. I use them in the parks. I use them as my gym bag. Like I use these backpacks every single day. And then my first Stony Clover backpack, which I kind of regret buying now. Like I wish I would have just waited. Um, but I got this one for a super, super discounted, like, price. Um, it's the Beauty and the Beast yellow full-size backpack. It's kind of dirty. Sorry, I use this as, like, my gym backpack. It's cute, though. I don't mind it. Like, I just wish it was a different color, you know? But, yeah. I know my collection is a little bit excessive, but I literally use all of these items every single day. And I think there might even be a few that I missed. They might be in my car, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I use these every single day. I didn't pay full price for like 90% of them. Um, yeah, there is a way to shop Stone Clover without spending all of the money in your bank account. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys come back to my channel and watch my next Disneyland vlog. Bye guys.